Alrighty, moving right along. The big 3-0. Previously on the Adventures of Namakon, uh, we went to astronomy class, uh, met up with Amit, officially. Uh, we ran into him at Hogsmeade, briefly. He said hello, but now we actually officially met him. He gave us a telescope, and we learned a little bit about astronomy and how that works. So it's kind of like puzzle things with these little... we got to look for these out there in the world. And we can use it. He gave us a telescope. And with that, we have to... Uh, we can point it using the mouse. WS for the zoom. And then we want to line things up by doing the rotate. Bingo. So I guess the more we unlock doing that, that's even better. All right, that's awesome. Let's see here. Hmm. Little glitchy, I guess. Uh, I got stuck in a black screen for a second, but we're all better. Let's double check uh, collections. Uh, do we have it? Okay, so did we s we slotted that? I believe. Um, where did we slot that? Yep, yeah, on our scarf. Uh, decreased da uh, damage from the zombie guys. So, what's next? We're almost level 22. Do we have any talents to spend? No, we do not. Just catching up. It's been a little while. All right. What's next on the agenda? Okay, in the shadow. Okay, so... Oh, so that's a continuation. So, uh, Sebastian and Omnis were seen arguing in the Great Hall. Hmm. I should find out what this is about. Oh, can't have two people that I met pretty much the first day arguing. He's a descendant of Salazar Slytherin. Not He's not too fond of it. And he wants to cure his sister, who's cursed. And his uncle's a dick. That's right, I said it. All right. Uh, oh, did I activate the tent? Hello. Where's my quests? Thank you. Yes, I did activate it. All right, bouncing back and forth, back and forth. I know, I know. So, oh, we can run there, but why run when you can fly? Uh, let's go ahead and land on the bridge here. Yes, I know. I can't enter while mounted. That would just be instant detention, I'm sure. Rebellion. Ah, chest. Excuse me. Uh, same level, so it's not higher or lower. Uh, that's all right. We got to figure that out. Maybe. No. Now that we have new spells. Could bring them. No. Arrest the momentum. Lumos. The pulsar. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Always double check things. Oh, damn. <laughs> Always check, double check things when you uh, uh, learn new spells. Th other things might be available to you. Uh, lower level gloves. Violet, if you get here before me, do us a favor and procure some more mead, won't you? Would you? I believe one of the fellows hanging in the third floor corridor has another frame somewhere with a... A frame, yeah. Frame somewhere with a nice supply. Interesting. The moving pictures, it's so cool. See, like, if you look at the picture that I'm staring at right now, 
you know, you know, he moves a little bit, and then as soon as I put something else in focus, I think that one will move too, will it? Oh, maybe not. See, he moves when he gets into focus. Question is, will those guys move up there? Well, maybe not all paintings, but geez, a, a good portion of them. Don't know who you are. All right, moving on. That was awesome. All right. Oh, that's lit up now. So that, yeah, we saw that in the astronomy tower. So stay on back. Confringer. Yes. Double check things. Just that much closer to 22. There's just so much to do in this school. Ah. Now that I know. Aloha <laughs> Mora. All right, I'm gonna see if I remember how to do this. Rotate. There it is. Now the inner one. Oh. This is the, uh, no, it's not. That's not the Chamber of Secrets. Revelio. No. That's cool. Locked bathroom. Hmm. Out of order. Uh, go this way. Going from one part of the castle to another. So we came from over there. Through here. Yeah. It's always good to get your bearings of where you're at. Such a big castle. Okay. Rebellion. Ding. There's always something dinging. It's just out of range. Up there somewhere. Didn't see it lit up, but... Ah, oh, it's Peeves. Great. Shut up, Peeves. That's another thing I like about the game. You know, it changes the seasons just like in the movie or the book, or whatever. You know, all the little decorations pop out. You know, these weren't here before, you know, obviously. So it's little things like that. Guess not. And we already unlocked that. Blue flame. What are you up to? Revelio. I'm up to no good. Oh, go this way. What are you doing? Mine's only about half an inch thick, and I found a black beetle on it. I wish Professor Garlic would teach us more about flesh There seems so little about them. Perhaps one day someone will write. What are you doing? Reading can be as magical as any spell. Students see that. It's those little things he don't expect to see.
Alright. Cool. Oh, yeah, I know. You saw me. Free money. All right. This courtyard is just so awesome. Isn't, isn't there supposed to be a whole bunch of, you know, statues in, up in here? Or maybe I'm on the wrong part of the castle. Where am I? Yeah. Well, maybe it's over here. No? That's the bridge. Yeah, I, I think that's here. Hmm. Huh. I have to go back, go back and rewatch the movies again. You already that's the crest. Still don't have time to help you, dude. Don't ask. Hey, it's me, Dara. Yeah, I know. No, I don't. I just told you that. <laughs> after the, after that armor combat, you just have to watch, you know, the oh, another butterfly class, yeah, like instant distraction. Uh, but yeah, the armor, you you gotta sit by and watch what they're gonna do every time you walk by. Oh, cool! That's my first... Well, I was here for the sorting ceremony, but... You just gotta take it all in, people. The game is so much more than just combat. I can tell you that right now. I mean... Oh boy, I saw it. Rebellion. No, I saw something shimmering here. Could have saw. I saw something shimmering there. Oh, it's over here. Oh, maybe it was the banner that's behind. Yeah, see, yeah. yeah no, it was the banner moving back there. So the banner on the railing or table there. I was just ruffling in the in the wind or something. But I know there's one here. Rebellion. Give me that. Thank you. Yes. Each of the tables have the house tablecloth or whatever it's called. You know, it's all these little details that they threw into this game. All right. All right, all right. Stay on target. Anything all right. to do with the dark art should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. Oh, so it's like that, huh? Okay. I won't give up. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Ominous swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. Well, this is Namakon, so... <laughs> I'm curious about the Dark Arts. The Dark Arts do pique my interest. 
There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. Well, yeah, because it's family history. I'd like to know more about it, if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse? No, I can say I, I am not familiar with it. Gotta play the character. Yes, we all know what it is. But Namakan does not know about it yet. What does the Cruciatus Curse do? It's known as the Torture Curse. Crucio. It inflicts intense, excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting us on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific. So the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. Huh. How horrible. Poor Ominous. He was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the Scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. You alright? You do I'll that. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. Alright. Oh, I'm back in school, so... Hold on. There we go. That's fine. What we get? Oh, don't. Almost can wear it. <laughs> and then we have to do more upgrading. What's up here? Rebellion. Still gotta figure that out. That's definitely a key. Something. Ah, ha, ha, ha. All right, everybody, stand back. Good for you. Okay, another page. Revelio. Level one lock. We could do that. Alohomora. Wav. All right. Revelio. That's that's all there is to it. Can I jump over that? Nah, darn. Flu flame. Off on another adventure, are we? Uh, not yet. At the moment. That's just... Hey, yeah, don't mind me, guys. Aloha, Mora.
Hey, Namacon just broke into the clo- Oh, uh, whatever this is. What do we have here? A demigod. Where? Ah, I'll come get you at night. Spectacles. Yep, two more. Alright, so this one can be upgraded. Avian beige. All right. It's good stuff. So there's the first question mark, and there's the second question mark. What do we got? All right. 11 plus that guy, which is a zero. So we need a three. All right, three-headed. Okay. And a seven plus squid dude. Which is a 9. So that's 16. 16 and 8 is 24. So I need Spider Dude. <laughs> yes. Revelio. Unidentified head item. Natural terrain. Good stuff. Pays to explore. Just have to figure out the, where the butterfly's at. Lumos. Well, okay. So he's going to be in the Great Hall. Uh, all right. That's yeah. Don't mind me, guys. Oh, right, everyone's done with dinner. Oh, there he is. Come here. Thank you. Follow me. Let's see here. Um, okay. Well, we'll go identify some things real quick up there and maybe we'll do the broom race. of all the potions you've brewed. Ah, uh, me too. Still need mongrels. Okay. And just keeps growing. <laughs> the cloud. Good stuff. Very green sorcerer hat. So 
So it's a hat, which I can't wear yet. I stress yet. Uh, we better sell off some stuff because we're getting full. Okay. We can complete a Merlin trial and unlock some. I'm reading that. Mm, let's see here. Let's go to Hogsmeade. Let's sell off some stuff. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? Nope, just buy my junk. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Yeah, I can't wear that. I can wear you. A leather long coat. Can't. Well, at 22, it's worth less, too, so just sell it. Okay. So. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Yeah, just a moment. There we go. Uh, we should have applied some traits. To my adventuring clothes, as long as I'm going to be adventuring. <sighs> what can I do for you today? Buy that. And, yep, he's brewing. You know, he's just brewing. We still have to figure out that guy. And these are always useful. A wise decision. Yeah. Thank you. I just need stuff to brew. Uh, mongrel fur. Oh, that's the wolf. So if I just go kill wolves out there, I can get some. I can do it that way. But we can do this. A wise decision. Thank you. It's cheap. And oh, I could have just bought troll bogies, maybe. Instead I of killing. See you again. Farewell for now. Hey, your map will be very useful. I could have just bought it, but apparently I have to get it from a real troll. I don't know. Um. It's a good thing we have. Gangway coming through. Oh. That's right. I was thinking about this. I was wondering when I'd see you again. Well, let's look at what we have, shall we? I see now I have money. Um parting table, potions. Medium potions, T-shaped. Beast feeder. That's cool. A <laughs> toy box. Fertilizer. All right, so a pot I can go with a medium, a large pot. Okay. <laughs> a random potion, periodically. All right. Five small pots. 
three small pots, three medium pots, two medium pots, a T-shaped potion. Okay, and a medium. Let's buy the T-shaped one, just for giggles. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Yeah, and we'll come back and get a beast feeder later. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Uh, just keep the stuff in stock. I'll be right back. Okay, get Sometimes out of Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. This is true. So, let's... Uh, let's see here. Let's... Well, I can go talk to Serona. Yeah, that's right. She's right, right here. I'm always going to go to the broom race, but um, since we're in town, <laughs> instead of being running directly behind the person, it's it's like I'm always it's offset. It's an, that's another neat thing about this game. Instead of being directly behind. You know, Nam is like, it's offset. You see what I'm saying? So, a lot of, lot of games will be like directly behind the person. Glad this is not that way, which is pretty, that's probably why it makes it look a little bit different. Um, where are you? Oh, there you are. Hello, Sorona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? Uh, yeah. I did, thank you. In fact, we're working together to try and rein in Ramrock. Are you? Yeah. Hmm. I suspected you and he would get along. Hmm. Perhaps best I don't know details of your plans. Yes. Then I shall refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be. I, of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something? I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favor for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband Aidan was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, um, full of old letters and such. Uh, will she just give it to me, or am I supposed to do this secretly? Hmm. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. Why did Mr. and Mrs. Sprottle have your box of letters after all this time? It's one of a few that I had when I was young. Dot found it when she was clearing out a closet. Can't imagine what's in there. Probably terribly theatrical. The ramblings of a teenage witch and her friends. You're welcome to take a peek inside, if you do find it. To be honest, I'd imagine it contains some lovely memories. Mm -hmm. Why does Mrs. Sprottle keep a supply of Wiganwell potion on hand? Dot's a skilled potioner. She's been supplying traveling vendors with Wigan World Potion. An ordinary precaution that has, unfortunately, become a necessity, what with Ranrock's loyalists disrupting the trade routes. Okay. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Dot can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll okay. find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. All right. All right. North of Hogsmeade. North of Hogsmeade. 
Oh. Hogsmeade, here I come. Am I outside of town yet? Nope. No, I am not. Still in town, jeez. I'm still thinking about that Roland Oaks thing. Got to find that one girl's uncle who's dealing with the goblins. Ah, up at Hogsfield. Now where to find Mrs. Bottle? Probably right here. Shane Bardolf thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Hmm. Okay. Excuse me. Did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Well, I've been known to encounter them and kick their butt when I see them. Uh, Do you think Bardolf may have simply run off? No. Bardolf's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. Mm -hmm. My instincts are that he's been held captive or worse. Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. Is that so? I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper. One that Claire knitted herself. Okay. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wiganwell potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Brottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk clumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. Uh, well, as long as I'm rung, roaming about, sure, why not? I do have some with me. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The traveling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld Potion. Serona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aidan died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. 
Aidan took ill when he was collecting orc clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. In the cavern, The huh? cavern is in the hills, just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Okay. I really don't care. <laughs> Do you remember anything about the letters you put in the box? Oh, of course. A few letters from some of her school friends. Some nice memories. I even included a letter Serona had written to me when she was staying with us. Thought she might enjoy reading it. I know when I read writing from my youth, I'm always astonished at how much I've changed and yet remain the same. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk clumps. I and the vendors I help would greatly appreciate it. Okay. So... This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. What are you? Past the river near the forest. I must be on the right track. It's got to be Rookwood men there. And of course, I can't look down. There's probably one right below me. Yes, I know. Let's just land here. It's not what I want. Lumos. That's not what I want. Okay. Revelium. Oh, zombies. That's different. I wonder if Petrificus Totalis are working on a zombie. Petrificus Totalis! Yes, it does. Well, you had to check, right? No, no, no! Damn it. Expedio. Accio. Incendio. Places. Defendo. Levioso. Oh, that's gotta hurt. He's like a where he would jump up. Incendio, places. What? Excuse me, get out of the corner. Oh, that hurt. That's what happens when your fingers get off the keyboard. Get back to the fight, buddy. Protego. You coming back to the fight or what? Rebellion. Ah, damn fingers. Yeah, you middle and ring finger and thumb and pinky, that's about it.
Mastered two of the curses. Huh. An entry from Vardolf's journal. He overheard whispers, a plan, something to do with him. Revelio. Oh, that could have been bad. Revelio. Is that everything? All right. Oh, this is a beast area. What can I? Wait, could I have captured those? Um... Could I have captured the Inferi? No. <laughs> that would be too simple. Uh, Revelio. Hold on a second. Let's capture you. Arrest the Revenger. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Anyone else? <laughs> Gotta be another bird around here somewhere. Can't be just one. There you are. Arrest the moment. A talent point, by the way. What's up this way? I see red. Oh, poacher. Lumos. Yeah, come on. Expelliarmus, Accio, Incendio, Glaciers. Just the one guy. Expelliarmus. Accio. Incendio. Glaciers. It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. Yes, it is. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Merlin trial. Let's solve this guy. Okay. Now what? Arrest the momentum. Is that right? Or maybe I did that wrong. Oh, okay. So, okay. So I actually can't just fly over them. I gotta kind of touch them in close enough to touch them anyway. 
So flying over is not good enough. Yay! Merlin trial number two completed. So that means... It's been ages since I've found anything worth poaching near Crackcroft. I know I should be doing other things, but... You can feed a beast, or it can feed you. I prefer the latter. We repair <laughs> How do you spill our blood and watch as we spill you? Centaur. Just afraid to take a hit, are you? You can do better than that, cowards. Shall we? You're the ones who ought to be skinned. Who caught it? Expelliarmus, Akio, Incendio, Glacius. Defender. Hey, bud. Tell us on your side, right? Yeah, I don't know if I want to fight a centaur. Stylish top hat. Scorching. Oh, that's right. This is unlocked now. With ambush. Oh, increased spell damage. Okay, we'll do that. Yeah, that's got to go, though. And that's still there. That's good. Okay. Just covering the bases. Did I pick up any others? Yeah, we'll stick with the Slytherin look. Okay. Follow the yellow brick road. Castle must have been quite stately in its time. What's down here? Ooh, River Troll. Yeah, I don't want to fight them right now. But now I know what that is. I see a bird. I should investigate. Let me also. Got you. Settle yourself. Off a pretty lass you can't quit flick show yourself all right so they respawned maybe or am I in the same spot I don't know so I want to get up there Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Oh, we'll find out soon enough.
Oh, I do hope my brother is all right. Yeah, the about that. Are expensive, you know. Madame Beaumont, I believe I have some news of your brother. Badolf? What do you know of my brother? Uh, <laughs> well, about that. Decisions, decisions. I mean, technically true and, well, definitely true. I regret to say that Bardolf had been turned into an Inferius, and I had to kill him. What? But, but how could you possibly think that an Inferius was my brother Bardolf? That's absurd. He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand-knitted. <gasps> no. No, this can't be. I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madame Beaumont. <laughs> what more could I have done? Oh, bad off. And then back to business as normal. Bad off. Dear, dear brother. Hey, you know, just because I told you bad news doesn't mean we can't do business, right? I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? Oh. I did. My apologies. I've not been myself since we last met. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved Hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. It's Ranrock I have to thank for losing Bardolf. If only I could somehow rid our hamlet of these monsters. I'm simply at my wit's end. You said Ranrock's loyalists have set up camp here. Where, precisely? To the south, across the river. Last I heard, there were several loyalists in each camp. I won't go near them. Why don't you simply leave the area for now? Upper Hogsfield is my home. Baldolf and I grew up here. I can't believe he's never coming home. Part of me wants to avenge the loss of my brother, whilst another part of me simply wants to hide. All right. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. <sighs> Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury or worse. Please be cautious. <laughs> or worse. Expelled. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. Has the situation with Ranrock's loyalists improved? I'm afraid not. I fear my brother is only one of many who will have suffered at their hands by the time they move on. If they ever do. Okay. So apparently she's not a shop. Spare a canut, a sickle, a galleon. This quest keeps getting bigger and bigger. So... Sweeping the competition, friend, indeed. Find and enter the cavern. And then two goblin encampments. All right, let's let's get back on track. It seems me? as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. Oh. There we go. Oh, there's another one of those things. Nothing to meet, he's likely studied here. Yeah, probably. Oh, come on. See here. No. 
trying to line things up just right. So, okay, it's gonna be a, there. We go, Leo. It's a neat little mini game. It really is. That's actually more challenging than lock picking. Which, by the way, you cast a spell and yet you still have to pick the lock. I mean, come on. Uh, I guess that's supposed to, uh, supposed to s simulate your concentration on the matter. This must be the cavern Mrs. Brussel mentioned. Oh, don't shoot me off my broom. <laughs> Not when I'm way out here. <laughs> that would have just totally sucked if he hit me and, and it, like, dismounted me. I tell you this. Hogwarts is lucky they've got protection charms. Yeah, well, I know where you're at now, guys, so you just wait. Seems I scared off the little puffskies. <laughs> He'd like to think I that. know your face now! You shan't arrange me again! <laughs> You're the little son that saved Treadwell. Thought we'd be getting on! Expelliarmus! I'll try that again. I'll try anything I want. Dude. I was hoping to blow him off the cliff, but okay. Oh, that's a collectible. Yeah. Thank you. Rebellion. Horklump Hollow. Nom loves tombs. Bottle, but I still need to visit the cave to find Zorona's box of letters. Perhaps I'll find more hawk clumps while I'm there. Lumos. Better have a look around. That's not See about I'm... the hawk clumps and the box of letters. That's all the hawk clumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Good. Revenue. What's that? That's not creepy. Lumos. All right, two increased. Uh, good deal. I like how I dove in. All right, so. Well, that doesn't even, you can't even uh, upgrade it or put a slot on it, so it's not worth the two points. That'll get dumped. Uh, let's see, 47, 51, we'll take 51. That's cool. But since we're adventuring, where's my leather? Thank you. That really is a good look. I should cosplay that. Oh, can't fly indoors. Wow. This is not just any old cave. Huh. 
That could have sucked. Your adventure ends here. I mean, that, that spell really is an OP spell. <laughs> Fight that troll. It's like three swings there. Damn it. See, there's that third swing, right? Get out there, guys. Sloppy, sloppy fight. Thanks for the assist, guys. Pretty much, you know, it's like middle finger, ring finger, and thumb. That's about the only thing I could really play with. Just injured hand. It's annoying. Used to be so much better. Like I said, this is probably better on a on a controller. <sighs> Frustrations. That's okay. Nom has not died yet. Collect Serona letters. So, is there anything, anything else in here? Lumos. Out of the way, guys. Thank you. All right.
Interesting. What is that? Shriveling fruit. That's not foreboding. Probably climb up that way. Oh, this is a gold mine. Oh, gold mine of stuff. Big old purple area. Can I climb up here? All right, we climb up there. Well, wow, this is going to be a long episode. Oh, what are you? Can I capture you? Ah. All right, we're in a purple area, so that's probably where the troll's at. Maybe just went a full circle. Ah, I found it. Uh, you guys can freeze the uh, episode to go ahead and read it if you like, or just rewind it and read it again. Oh. Must be Sorona's box of letters. Take this box of letters to Sorona. She'll be glad to have it back. I think that's everything. Sorona will be glad to have this back. That's one way of looking at it. So, where is she at? Over that way. So, how high can we go? I'm telling you, brooms are awesome. Oh, that's right. 
towns are not awesome. That's why I want to live out in the country. <laughs> Don't deal with the city crap. Don't. Yeah, just go. Don't be a wuss. Just go. Just go. Stop being a wuss, Nom. And... Down here. Interesting way of painting. Revelio. Oh, there's a chest there. Don't mind me, buddy. I'm just going to get the free money. Thank you. Does it get any more cozy yeah. than Hogsmeade? through the side door here. Don't mind me. Oh, where's she at? Oh, she over here. Hello, Sorona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hall clumps for her Wigamel potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. Hmm. Huh. I wondered about some of the letters in the box. Of course. It appears most of the letters were from fellow students. Hmm. I don't care. I saw a letter from someone named Mirabel. Is that Professor Garlic? It is. Still one of my dearest friends. I know she wouldn't mind you having seen that letter. She and I are of a similar mind. Oh. Especially when it comes to young people. We believe experience to be an invaluable teacher. To borrow a phrase from Mirabel, it's a joy to see anyone blossom, but particularly one who doubted they ever would. Yeah, hook me up. All right. No, I'm just kidding. Ah, uh, let's see here. One of the letters mentions Quidditch practice. Did you play? I did. I was the Ravenclaw Seeker for three years. Oh, Merlin's beard. I adore Quidditch. Nothing like the feeling of catching the golden snitch when your team's down by 140 points. I'll never forgive Professor Black for cancelling it this year. I miss cheering for Ravenclaw. Hmm. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Brottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her. And for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. All right. So... Breaking camp. Oh, that's right. Uh, clear goblin camp. Sweeping competition. And the other ones we still have. Do that later. Ah. <sighs> Alrighty, get out of the uh, way of people conversations. Yeah, 
hour and 20 minute long. All right. Well, it is what it is. Uh, thanks for joining. <laughs> like and subscribe. If you do, great. If you don't, I don't care. But, again, this is just the first playthrough. Just taking it as it comes and figuring it out as I go. We'll see you in the next one.